Sarah J. Mass. The Assassin's Blade. Yes, this is awesome. Oh, what a great book this is. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And I wish I had read it first before I started the Throne of Glass series because this book shows Selena as really, really cool. She is not only skilled as an assassin, she has determination, she stands up for what she believes in, she goes against uh, that Hamill Robin guy who is a big slime ball. I, oh, I was so mad at him. He treated her so mean and we see her relationship with Sam develop and so it gives a whole if you start the Throne of Glass series first before this, there's a lot of references to things that happen in this book that, you know, I wondered about, and this answers all the questions. It, it tells about her time in the desert. It, it shows how she is selfless, and she is not the, the creepy, selfish person that she's made out to be in Throne of Glass, and in The Crown of Midnight, and in The Air of uh, Fire. So there's more to her and and there's a lot to know about her and she is so cool and she gets this very nice very nice outfit was made special she she has her knives that she hits a button and they pop out of her sleeve and she's always armed and it's, it's really cool and I loved it loved it the time in the desert was great she made a friend. She actually made a friend. And she escapes and she's, she had some fun in the desert. With, I can't, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. I just want you to read this book because it is so action-packed and so gripping and so touching. And there's funny stuff in here. Um, it's just a well-written five-part novel, actually. It's, it's like five novellas. I liked them all, but the last two were kind of spoiled for me because I kind of knew what was coming because I had read it ahead in the series. But if you did, all five of them were, were excellent. And I, I highly, highly recommend this. If you enjoy fantasy, you got to read it. It, it, it. This is one of the best books I have read in a long time. I, there's nothing bad about it. Nothing. No boring parts. Everything makes sense. And it was, it was just, the fight scenes were so well done and good. You could you just picture her going to town. It was great.